Kuva Liches and Sisters of Parvos offer weapons with a unique feature. They all have an extra mod slot for you to choose which bonus elemental you want in it. And it is essentially a mod that applies last, so whatever elemental you pick will be applied after the mods you put in your build. While in general those weapons are very strong, and you can't get away with any choice, there are a few choices that allow for better builds. In this video I want to go over those choices, and we'll do it one weapon class at a time. Because what affects those choices are mostly two things. One, which prime elemental mods exist for that weapon class, and which one of those are you using in that build. And two, are you using condition overload or galvanized counterparts of that mod. Using prime elemental mods is beneficial in a lot of builds, as it just adds tons of damage. So fitting an elemental that goes along with that is of great help. Example would be that since secondary weapons have a primed heat mod, then heat probably is not the best element of choice for Milich or Sister. Which leads us to use of condition overload, or galvanized mods that add damage on enemies affected by status. If Lich or Sister element allows you to have an extra element in your build, that's not just extra damage from the elemental, that's also extra damage for a stack for condition overload. To stick with our secondary weapons as an example, if we build a weapon for a viral and heat, using magnetic or radiation as a lich or sister element adds a lot more value to that build. Kuva Nukur is a great example, with radiation as base and viral plus primed heat in the build, adding magnetic on top makes it a perfect weapon to prime enemies regardless of faction they belong to. Magnetic rips shields, and it's extremely potent as a status. But as a lich elemental, it has a rather low damage, which is very good, as you don't need much of it. Kuva Kraken works the same way, and most other secondary weapons do like galvanized shot on them, which means having more damage element equals better. But even without the galvanized shot, magnetic is helpful as such a small portion of the damage, and it's very noticeable against corpus or anything that has shields. That covers the secondary weapons. For primary weapons, we have to split them up. Assault rifles work really well with viral and hunter munitions on them, but galvanized aptitude is also very effective. Since primary weapons have primed cold mod, using toxin as a lich slash sister elemental can make it easy to fit all the mods in. But depending on the weapon, and if you can already fit two mods for viral, it's worth considering magnetic, heat or radiation. Galvanized mods are so powerful that it's worth it. But for some builds, you need reload speed, fire rate, and that might stop you from being able to add something else, a dachshund, to just make viral and run with that. For shotguns, I feel like it's straightforward. Either magnetic or radiation. Because both are secondary elementals, they don't mix with your builds, and all shotguns are exceptional at inflicting status, so galvanized savvy will sing. Huge reason to run either magnetic or radiation as a lich slash sister elemental is because shotguns have both primed cold mod and primed electricity mod. And in general you can fit at least one of those in your build to make two elementals. Blaze is also worth mentioning as a very strong shotgun mod because it adds damage and heat. So whatever you go with in your builds, either viral electricity, viral heat, corrosive cold, corrosive heat, in any scenario, it's magnetic or radiation as a bonus elemental that gives you the most. For explosive weapons it's a bit more complicated, as it's optimal to run a mod that adds range to the explosion. On top of that, for launchers that are built to hit criticals, hunter munitions is a go-to. Those take up mod slots, and since launchers do not benefit from galvanized aptitude, it's not that important to split up damage into many elementals. Using Toxin as a Lich slash Sister Elemental can let you have a good build where you can fit everything you need. Like for example, Kuva Tonkor is really comfy if you add a Primed Magazine size mod. On top of that, using Prime Cold in the build lets you have Viral, which is probably as optimal as it gets. But on a launcher such as Kuva Ogres, which is not built for criticals, you can split damage into more elements. Even go with Magnetic for Ogres, and build it for Viral to ensure debuffing both health and shields for Nightwatch Napalm. Cause there is room for it in that build. That concludes primary weapons. It generally depends on use of galvanized mods and the rule is, if you use it, then add more different stuff. 
If not, then use anything that allows you to fit mods that you want to put in. Now on to melee stuff. Melee weapons have Prime Toxin mod, which makes Cold a very strong contender as a Lich slash Sister Elemental. It depends what you build your melee weapons for. With the weapons, there are unique perks to them, and in general it helps to add a mod to boost them, like adding slam damage on a weapon that does a lot of slam stuff. But since Condition Overload is so powerful, if you can build your weapon for Viral, then adding something else as a bonus element helps. Again, it's a trinity of heat, magnetic or radiation that can be helpful on top of Viral. And on my Tenei Agendas, I went with Radiation, as Heavy Attack turns that weapon into Archiplasmor. Last but not least, even though they do the least amount of damage, the Arc Guns. Mods we have for Arc Guns are very limited, so even in general builds it's easy to have 3 elemental mods in it. So in my eyes, I'd rather split the damage and add either Radiation or Magnetic in. Eventually, you're bound to get better mods for this weapon class, but as is, I do not think it matters too much. I have Radiation on Kuvak Rattler, but putting Magnetic as a Lich element and building it for Viral does help escalate the damage against all factions. And that's it for all the weapon classes. There's one unique scenario, and that's using Impact on Kuva Nuker to make use of Hemorrhage. But that's a unique build made to cause a lot of bleeding, but in general I prefer a magnetic build on that weapon. Currently, galvanized damage mods are too good to pass on using them, and Lich and Sister weapons are some of the best ones in the entire game when it comes to utilizing the potential of those mods. But even without it, that small amount of magnetic you get on those weapons, if you choose that, is quite potent against corpus enemies, and more importantly, against boss type enemies, as almost all of them have some shields. But it's hard to get it wrong, really, and with how it is now, it's quite easy to change it and test stuff. I hope you find this guide useful. Thank you for watching, subscribe to help the channel grow, and I'll see you in the next one.